Today we're going to be looking at Intel's 535 series 240GB SSD. The packaging for this product is very nice. Inside the outer cardboard shell is a brown cardboard component with two levels, securing the SSD in place and everything else that's included. Speaking of what's included, along with a 2.5 inch SSD, you also get a plastic spacer, a 6GB per second transfer cable, a small bag of screws, a software installation disk, a Speed Demon sticker, and a quick start guide. Looking closer at the SSD itself, we can find that it has a silver metal housing with the Intel logo in the middle left and a curved color design in the top right. The side of the SSD, of course, has the SATA transfer cable and power connector. This SSD is a sequential read speed of 540 megabytes per second and write speed of 490 megabytes per second with active power consumption at 165 milliwatts. Now quickly for some pros and cons. As for pros, the SSD is lightning fast with the mentioned read and write speeds of 540 megabytes per second and 490 megabytes per second respectively. This drive has Intel's 16 nanometer NAND technology, which if you're unfamiliar is the drive's flash data housing. The low power consumption is more than 90% less than that of a typical hard drive. And finally, along with trim, this drive will be very reliable in many years to come. Now for the cons. Like stated, this is a, the only 240GB version, so there is a very limited storage compared to a normal hard drive, even though your main purpose for this drive should be specific programs, games, or the OS itself. The price is also a huge factor. For just $40 more, you could buy a PNY SSD with double the storage capacity of this. So what does this all mean? Would I recommend this drive to you? Well, yes and no. It's a beautiful drive, and it'll definitely speed up your current PC. However, price per gigabyte is just too high right now. At the time of this video, I purchased this drive for $135, which calculates to $0.56 cents per gigabyte, whereas a typical 1 terabyte hard drive right now can come in as little as $0.06 cents per gigabyte. But the choice is still yours to make, so I guess choose wisely. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, be sure to give me a thumbs up down below. If you disliked the video, be sure to dislike it and tell me why. I want to hear what you guys have to say about the video. So thanks for watching, and if you guys want to check out my uh, Pebble Steel unboxing, then click here.